Hi guys, it's Evan from The Horror Appraisal. Uh, just wanted to kind of throw another video at you guys. Uh, Sam can't be here tonight, but we discussed kind of what I was going to talk about for a couple minutes. So, uh, so Alien Covenant, okay? So this movie's been out for a few weeks now. And so this isn't exactly a review. Uh, I just want to talk about something specific with this film. Uh, it's been out for a few weeks, and honestly, uh, criticism of it seems to be kind of mixed, but more really leaning towards the negative side. Uh, it seems like this movie hasn't been that well received. I did look on Rotten Tomatoes a little while ago. It looks like it's actually in the lower 70s, which I guess isn't that bad this, this, for this day and age. But um, I, I personally talked to several people uh, after seeing the film, and they all told me the same thing. They said they didn't care for it. So I just kind of want to discuss what's the deal with people not liking Alien Covenant. No. I, I come from a, a point of view, I'll go ahead and let you know, I kind of like the film. Uh, I actually really did like the film Alien Covenant, I was entertained. Uh, so, really quickly, you know, recap of Prometheus, you know, let's just presume you've seen Prometheus, and by the way, this has spoilers, so I'm presuming you've, you've already seen Alien Covenant, I just wanted to discuss it. Um, I really like Prometheus, which came out a few years ago. Uh, Ridley Scott, of course, he directed my favorite film of all time, Blade Runner. Uh, you know, Prometheus felt like a uh, really good sci-fi. It was smart, and it left it ambiguous enough that you know it still kept you engaged, and you still knew that it was in this universe of um, of, of Alien. So I think that you know that, that's really what made a lot of people, of course, want to see the film. Uh, I think a lot of people felt uh, well, maybe cheated or uh, something like that. Uh, when they left the theater after seeing Prometheus a few years ago because we didn't exactly see the alien that we thought we were going to see. Uh, it just really, it was just really a big world-building uh, undertaking for Ridley Scott for this universe uh, that Alien is a part of. Um, you know, one thing I'll say about people saying, uh, they said Prometheus, well, that didn't answer any questions about Alien. But I only come back on that is the film 2001. Did you ever see that? No, that didn't answer any questions. It was actually, it wasn't until the sequel that was made, you know, maybe seven, eight, nine years later, 2010, that actually did answer the questions that, that a lot of people had. Um, now, I liked, now, so speaking specifically about Alien Covenant, I really liked it. Um, I liked how this movie really goes into the creation of David, the android, and uh, his motivation, uh, you know, we, we see an imperfect being made by an imperfect being. Um, and, you know, just, just as Mr. Wayland, uh, portrayed by Guy Pierce, you know, just as he wanted to be God in creating David, uh, David in this film also wants to be God in creating a perfect being. You know, even though it's a perfect being of uh, instinct and killing, Anything else? This is this is kind of Wayland's inheritance to David on this this sort of uh, God complex, and you know it really is is a big factor in, in David's motivations and in, in, in everything he does and in, in what in what he did after uh, the events of the film Prometheus. Um, what I think is really cool is you know of course Michael Fassbender plays two parts in this film. He plays. David from Prometheus, and he plays this new android, Walter, that we made a later model. I like how Walter shows us that David is fallible uh, when he corrects him on the poem written by Shelley. Uh, so, like I said, I, I just wanted to say, uh, overall, I enjoyed this film. Um, the CG in it, meh. You know, I, I think this film got a lot of criticism, too, because, as you guys know, me and Sam, we love basic, uh, not basic, but practical special effects. So CG doesn't really do much for me. I'm not going to say it looked bad. Um, as far as CG goes, I suppose it looked pretty good. I, I would have liked to have seen uh, more practical special effects. So now, uh, oh, by the way, I love the ending of the film too. I love endings where uh, it kind of appears the bad guy has won. Uh, I think those are great ways to end a movie, especially when they're going to make another one. So... Um, now, let's talk about the reason for this video. Lots of people seem to really dislike this movie. Um, I've already told you why, you know, I already told you why I liked it, and I, I thought it was a cool movie that actually answered lots of questions 
about the Alien franchise, because that's what a lot of people said in their reviews of it, like, doesn't seem to answer any questions. Well, golly, for me, it seemed to answer quite a few. Um, so this is what I think. I asked, the next day after seeing um, Alien Covenant, I asked some people what they thought of it. And they said they hated it. I said, well, gosh, did you, what did you think of Prometheus? Thinking, you know, if I could link that, I figured, well, maybe they hated Prometheus, so therefore they weren't really prepared to like this film. I said, so what did you think of Prometheus then? And they said, what's Prometheus? So about two or three people actually told me this. So I think really there must have been some kind of problem maybe in the... Uh, <clears throat> in advertising this movie. This movie was advertised as Alien Covenant. Well, people maybe thought it was this latest Alien sequel that takes place maybe after Alien Resurrection. I don't know why they'd think that. Um, but, you know, Prometheus was just called Prometheus. It wasn't called Alien Prometheus. Uh, so I think maybe just maybe marketing just had a lot to do with it. Um, they, I think maybe they should have either called Prometheus Alien Prometheus. That way when Alien Covenant came out, People would have more of a connection there. Um, or they should have maybe just called, you know, they called the first film Prometheus. Maybe they should have just called this film Covenant. Um, and I think people would have been maybe more happy with that. But like I said, there was such a disconnect from Prometheus. People people saw Covenant, didn't realize that some of these characters were characters they were supposed to know something about from a previous film. So there was that disconnect. And I, I, th I think that's why a lot of people hated it. Plus not to mention the fact that I guess Prometheus, you know, it's about four or five years old at this point. If you didn't rewatch really Prometheus before going to see Covenant, I can see kind of how you'd be lost, especially if maybe you only saw Prometheus once. So, like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of, I've, that's my only reasoning. I've always been just kind of confused uh, the last few weeks uh, why people seem to really dislike this movie so much. Uh, I quite I quite liked it. Uh, I went saw it with me and my buddy Trent. We both actually quite liked it. Uh, and uh, my brother too. My brother liked it too. Um, so, uh, guys, it, it, leave some comments. Did you did you like Covenant? Uh, I did. If, if you didn't like it, fine. Don't worry. It's it's it, no one's wrong here. But uh, tell us why. As always, of course, please subscribe to our channel. Watch our videos. Uh, thanks for clicking the play button and hearing me talk at you this evening. Uh, I'm Evan from The Horror Appraisal. Me and Sam will be back soon uh, with something cool, and you guys have a great night. Bye.